What's up, Cowboys Nation? Welcome back to Cowboys News TV. I'm Dave, your go-to for all things Dallas Cowboys, where we dive deep into the latest news, updates, and in-depth analysis on America's team. And today, we've got a hot topic to cover. The big news, Mike McCarthy has confirmed that Cooper Rush will serve as Dak Prescott's backup for the 2024 season, with Trey Lance sticking as the QB3. Now, some might call this decision controversial, but was it really? Let's break it all down. Before we dive into the details, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future updates. We're on a mission to reach 11,000 subscribers, and your support is what drives us to keep bringing you the best Cowboys content out there. Join the Cowboys Nation community and help us hit that milestone. Now, let's get into it. Cooper Rush is no stranger to this role. He's been steady, reliable, and, most importantly, he didn't do anything to lose the number two spot. Trey Lance, on the other hand, has had a tough preseason, to say the least. His performance in the final preseason game against the Los Angeles Chargers saw him throw five interceptions. Now, that's not the kind of stat line you want when you're trying to move up the depth chart. Sure, he threw for 323 yards and ran for 90 more, but those turnovers sealed his fate for now. Cowboys Nation, what do you think? Was this the right move? Should Lance have gotten the backup spot, or is Rush the safer bet? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. We're also running a poll, so make sure you cast your vote and join the conversation. So, why did the Cowboys trade for Trey Lance last year? It's a question that's resurfacing now that Prescott's contract situation has been ironed out. Some speculated that Lance was brought in as leverage during negotiations, but with Dak getting the contract he wanted, it makes you wonder, was trading for Lance the right call? The Cowboys gave up a fourth round pick to the 49ers for Lance, and as it stands now, he's the third string QB with no clear path to becoming the starter anytime soon. Now, Cowboys Nation, let's discuss, do you think the Cowboys made a mistake trading for Lance? Or do you think they still have a plan for him in the long term? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and don't hold back. This is a topic that's stirring a lot of debate, and we want to hear from you. Looking at the big picture, it's clear that Cooper Rush was always the frontrunner for the backup role. He's been in the system, knows the offense, and when called upon last year, he delivered. There wasn't much reason to make a switch, especially considering Trey Lance is still very much in the developmental phase. Lance has potential, no doubt about it, but he's not quite there yet, and the Cowboys know that. This decision buys them more time to work with Lance behind the scenes. And speaking of potential, let's talk about Lance's ceiling. He was the third overall pick in 2021 for a reason, he's got athleticism, he can make plays with his legs, and when he's on, he can make all the throws. But consistency is key in the NFL, and right now, that's what he's lacking. The Cowboys see him as a project, and while they're committed to developing his game, it's clear that they're not ready to thrust him into the number two spot just yet. Here's a question for you, Cowboys Nation. How long do you think it will take for Lance to develop into a reliable backup, or even a starter? Will he get there, or is this just a temporary stop for him in Dallas? Let's keep the conversation going in the comments section. Your insights always add so much to these discussions. As for Dak Prescott, his new contract has certainly raised some eyebrows. The Cowboys essentially gave Dak everything he wanted, a huge signing bonus, a short-term deal, and the highest per year salary in the NFL. This leaves the door open for another payday before he retires. But here's the thing, what was the point of acquiring Lance if Dak was always going to get his deal? It's a question that Cowboys fans, and the media alike, are starting to ask. From a strategic standpoint, some thought Lance might apply pressure on Prescott during contract talks, but that didn't really happen. Prescott signed his deal, and Lance remains in the developmental phase. Now, looking back, was that fourth-round pick spent on Lance worth it? Could the Cowboys have addressed other areas of need, like running back depth, instead of bringing in another quarterback? I want to hear from you, Cowboys fans. Was the Lance trade a mistake, or do you think it's too early to make that call? 
Let's discuss in the comments below, and don't forget to vote in our poll about the Cowboys QB situation. And here's something to chew on, the Cowboys could have used that fourth round pick to draft a running back, a position where they could have added depth. There were several promising RBs available at that point in the draft, and some are already making waves in the NFL. Imagine if the Cowboys had added a guy like Will Shipley or Ray Davis to the backfield, how different would things look right now? What do you think? Should the Cowboys have drafted a running back instead of trading for Lance? Let's get a lively debate going in the comments. Now, even though Trey Lance remains the QB3, don't count him out just yet. There's always the possibility that the Cowboys continue to groom him for the future, and maybe, just maybe, Lance could get a shot if circumstances change down the line. But for now, Cooper Rush has earned the backup role fair and square. He knows the system, has proven himself in real games, and gives the Cowboys the best chance of staying competitive should anything happen to Prescott. Before we wrap up, I want to remind you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We're closing in on our goal of 11,000 subscribers, and with your help, we can get there in no time. Your support means everything to us, and it allows us to continue bringing you the best Cowboys content out there. And don't forget to ring that notification bell so you never miss a video. To sum things up, the Cowboys' decision to keep Cooper Rush as the backup quarterback is the safe, smart move heading into the 2024 season. Trey Lance has potential, but he's still in the developmental phase, and the Cowboys are in no rush to push him into the backup role. Dak Prescott remains the clear starter, with his new contract solidifying his position as the franchise quarterback for at least the next few years. What's next for Trey Lance? Only time will tell. But for now, the Cowboys have their quarterback room set, Prescott, Rush, and Lance. And with the regular season just around the corner, the focus will shift to how this team performs on the field. Thanks for watching, Cowboys Nation. Don't forget to leave your comments below, join the discussion, and share your thoughts on the QB situation. Hit that thumbs up button if you found this video informative and share it with your fellow Cowboys fans. We appreciate your support. Stay tuned for more updates and as always, go Cowboys!